Good morning, distinguished colleagues. I would like to speak uh, the principles of uh, fluorescence micros digital microscopy. Let's speak about the history first. The fluorescence was introduced in the mid 19th century by the um, mathematician, by Sir Stocks in Cambridge, and he described that by the uran glass. Uh, he uh, researched the UV. Uh, radiation and you see here is the short description the length of wave of the uh, uh, radiation is higher as the uh, wave of absorption the fluorescence microscopy appeared in the uh, early 20th century as the UV microscopy the In 1911, the fluorescent microscope was designed and the colors uh, were introduced uh, in practice in 1935. Since the 1970s, the DNA research uh, started and uh, this allowed to localize genes at chromosome by hybridization in radioactive in 1969 and in fluorescent option in 1986 and it is called fluorescent in situ hybridization. Uh, speaking about the uh, acute state, the actual stage, the use of chromosome problems allows to allows better diagnostics. The most famous test is the amplification gene here, HERT. The HERT status at breast uh, cancer is one of the key elements at planning of the therapy. But HERT status cannot be uh, found exactly. So there should be um, the most optimal method is the fish research. The recommendation of uh, ASCA cap or an evaluation of fish HURT with uh, the double um, marker. You see that there is a criteria of HURT CEP 17 relation less than. 2.0 or less than four signals in a cell. This is a negative, then there is a mid with a relation less than T and the average number of a replica of HRT uh, less than over four but less than six and the positive is uh, HRT CEP 17 relation over T. So we look at invasive carcinome zone and scan it in fluorescent mode. When the scan is ready then the data filter analysis is conducted. The cores of the cells should have uh, should be very accurate, very exact, that should not overlap it here. And this is the colorful editor. We can use either black and white mode, where we can see the uh, um, silhouette of the cores. We can mark here the cores of the tumor cells in green filter. Also in uh, black and white mode we can count the signals from the chromosome in red filter. We calculate the number of signals with the replica of HURT and the common picture, the general picture is like this. In this case we have the amplification of each uh, HER a gene with uh, uh, 20 tumor cells and the red signals are uh, six of them and uh, the ratio uh, is uh, 261.
As I have already mentioned, the analysis should be performed in the invasive carcinoma section. Uh, here we have the carcinoma in situ in a fluorescent scan. It is difficult to see it, to view it, and uh, that is the advantage of the digital scanning um, microscope and it helps us to calculate that in the right way uh, we uh, calculate the uh, tumor uh, nuclear and we calculate uh, the green signals from chromosome on number six, 17 and also the red signals from her gene that is how the picture looks like and in this uh, um, case the status is not defined because the average uh, number of red signals is uh, 468 and now let's uh, see the non-amplified case so we divide uh, different zones and uh, the pictures in a data filter and we calculate the green uh, signals in green filter and calculate uh, red signals in red filter uh, we have uh, 3.64 um, uh, uh, red signals and uh, we performed uh, uh, this um, analysis uh, using uh, 265 cases non-amplified and um, amplified and indefinite number uh, were represented on the chart and uh, this comparative analysis has uh, not shown us any major differences in this uh, uh, research and uh, the digital uh, way uh, provides us with a more objective uh, picture and it helps us to store images but uh, this is a large volume of uh, mm, uh, storage uh, one file can be more than uh, 10 gigabytes and um, on average, uh, the evaluation of uh, uh, fish medicine takes about 30 minutes. Thank you for your attention.